Hello, my name is Mr Thorne and you are watching Mr Thorne Does Phonics for TES Resources. Today you'll see the game Beginnings and Endings and it's a great game for Phase 4 and Phase 5. It's a great game for Phase 4 because you get to use the initial blends and the end blends in this game. Also a good game for Phase 5 because you get to use the alternate spellings for sounds. Here it is. Hello, and here is another audio commentary from Mr. Thorne for this video. And this beginnings and endings video is a real fun game actually because it gets the children blending letter sounds together to make new words. Now it starts off with giving each pair of children a sound, an end sound. So you could give one pair of children the double L, as you can see on the screen. Another pair of children a different ending, and I think this one is the double S, yeah. And then give another pair of children another ending, and another pair of children another ending. And keep going until you've given each pair of your children a sound, an end sound. Then, once that's complete, you make sure those children okay. in those pairs write their sound on their board. That is their unique sound for this game. You have got a double Z. Once complete, you as the teacher will then write a beginning set of sounds. Okay, so F is what you can see there. And each group of children will be able to make a different word. So the children with the double S will be able to make fuss. The children with the double Z will be able to make fuzz. The children with the double L will be able to make full. And it just means that different children have different words. It Sometimes it means they have to create nonsense words, alien words, words that don't really work. So some of the children may have got the double F and would have made the word fuff, which is an alien word, it isn't a real word. And I usually give them one point if they've blended it correctly, and two points if they've blended it well and it's a real word. So it's a bit of a game of chance and a bit of a game of blending skill also. So as you can see, some words don't work. But as long as the child is blending them, then that is the main point of the game. So in some instances you have to think carefully about the starting sounds you give them. Some initial sounds work better than others. So the point of Ms is that even though it's not a real word, as long as it's blended well, they still get one point because that's the the point of this game is to get the blending of those sounds together, which is what phase four of Letters and Sounds is all about. And I ask the children often to put sound buttons underneath each phoneme, so they get an appreciation for the number of phonemes, the number of sounds in each word. And I'm trying to model as best I can handwriting on the board. Not always easy. So they've blended that one quite well, except it's not a real word. And they're putting their sound buttons underneath. Have a try in your classroom. 